peace, mercy, and blessings. All matters will return to him. And Allah has will aware, know, and record everything that we will do. I bear witness there is no creator except Allah, the one and only with no partner, the almighty and assure truth. I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a servant and messenger of Allah, my dear brothers and sisters of Islam. Our talk today, inshallah, is about true riches, which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, described clearly. The Prophet, peace be upon him, give a timeless advice to those who predestined to riches and those who predestined to limited income in very simple world. So if you are seeking contentment, seeking satisfaction, seeking happiness in this life and hereafter, you are in the right place because this sermon is dedicated to that just one subject that is eluding all of us to be content, to be satisfied, and to be happy. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as it was narrated by Imam Tirmizi and Imam Ahmad, said, be satisfied with what Allah ordained for you, you would be the wealthiest among people. Be satisfied with what Allah ordained for you, what Allah predestined for you, what Allah fated for you. You will be the wealthiest among people. Satisfaction is a state of personal contentment with what Allah provides and what Allah denies, as both are equally accepted by the believer. Allah gives, Allah takes. It's always accepted equally by the believer. The servant submit to the will of Allah and accept his resolve without any protest or objections, knowing that no one, no one, can comprehend Allah's wisdom in what he ordained and what he predestined. Omar ibn Khattab, may God be pleased with him, said, I don't pay attention to what I would encounter. I wouldn't pay attention to what I would encounter in my life on a daily basis as I wake up in the morning. Either I face what I love or what I hate. As I do not know where goodness is, is it in what I love or what I hate? And we all know that very well. We can need and want something very badly, and when we have it, it brings us the opposite of satisfaction. Satisfaction can be materialized in, in anyone's life unless the servant accepts what Allah ordained regardless, submitting to his will, and recognize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just. It was narrated by Bayam Abu Nu'aym on the authority of Yahya ibn Mu'az that he used to supplicate and listen carefully to this supplication from a righteous person, Yahya ibn Mu'az. He said, Oh Allah, if you give me, I accept. If you deny me, I understand. If you take no notice of me, I worship. And if you call on me, I respond. O oh Allah, grant me what I want. If you did not grant me what I want, then bestow on me patience, endurance for what you want. My dear brothers and sisters, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, condition achieving wealth and happiness with satisfaction when he said be satisfied with what Allah ordained for you you would be the wealthiest among people whoever accept what Allah ordained for him and do not seek what's in the hand of others he would possess the treasures of satisfaction which would not run out and the riches of the soul which is the real wealth as the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him taught us it was narrated by Imam Ibn Abi Dunya on the authority of Sa'ad Ibn Abi Waqqas that he said to his son, a command from a father to his son, and this is the responsibility of everyone, every father, to learn these words. So insha'Allah he can convey it to his son. He said, oh my son, if you seek riches, then seek it in satisfaction as it is a wealth which never run out. If you seek riches, 
then, re then seek it in satisfaction, which is the, the, the wealth which never run out. And be warned of greed, as it is an assured poverty. Be warned of greed, as it is assured poverty. And give up on what's in the hand of others. As not a time you give up something, unless Allah makes you not in need of it. So have faith in Allah, trust in Allah and His will. My dear brothers and sisters, whoever is blessed with satisfaction is rich, even if he was poor, and whoever looked past what Allah bestowed on him is poor, even if he was rich, as he always in a state of exhaustion, anger, and rage. It was narrated by Imam al-Bayhaqi on the authority of Abi Sulaiman al-Durani that he said, some people seek riches wrongly, thinking that it is in collecting money. But riches can only be found in satisfaction. And they seek, in com they seek comfort in abundance wrongly, but comfort only can be found in modesty. And they seek honor from people, but honor com only comes from piety. People seek honor from other people, but honor only comes from piety and being mindful of Allah. And they seek bounties in soft clothes and costly food, but bounties in Islam are health and having what's enough. The modest, satisfied servant enjoy riches with little resources because he saves his soul the anger of worries the pain of envy and seeking what's in the hand of others. He has peace of mind and peaceful soul, living the good life and pure life, the life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah An Nahl, verse 97, what can be translated, whoever work righteousness, man or woman, and hath faith, verily to him we will give a life that it is good and pure. The scholar explaining the verse, what is the life which is good and pure? It is the state of satisfaction not, and contentment is the good and pure life. When you are satisfied, when you are content, when you are at peace, this is the good and pure life. Satisfaction is a peace where you find man or woman living like a small child in the care of his parents. That is peace. A child living in the care of his parents. No worries, no decisions. Everything is pre-planned. Everything is predestined. Everything is done for him. That is the parallel that we should have in our relation to our creator, Allah, the Almighty, the creator of the heaven and the earth. He plans, he predestines, he arranges, and it's for us to trust and to follow. Turning it over to Allah, turning your worries, turning your needs to Allah, that is real faith. Is heaven on earth and contentment for the true believer? That's the state of the true believer who turn everything that give him a headache, if you will, to Allah to resolve. Trusting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most capable, will resolve it for him. And it all comes from that pure, that sincere trust in Allah. Whoever is not satisfied with what is ordained for him on earth will have a hard life and will not enjoy any happiness regardless of what he has given of the best of this earthly life. In this meaning, it was narrated by Hanad and al bayhaqi on the authority of Ibn Mas'ud, may God be pleased with both of them, that he said, he actually was given us definitions, meanings for us to understand and to reflect and also adjust our own definition of understanding of, of, of the meaning of things. Advice from Ibn Mas'ud, he said, satisfaction is not, is not to satisfy others by disobeying and, and bringing the anger of Allah. Satisfaction is not to thank and praise someone for what Allah bestowed on you of bounties. 
and satisfaction is not to blame anyone for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala denies you. You ordained, you, you, you ordained, your ordained income will reach you. Your income will reach you. No one will provide it for you any faster. And no one can hold it back, or this, even if he despise you. Allah, in his wisdom, justice, and knowledge, made happiness found in total trust in him and satisfaction in what he ordained. This is where Allah put happiness and satisfaction in trusting him. And he placed sadness and stress in doubt and rebellious. So be doubtful as much as you want, be rebellious as much as you want. It only leads to sadness and stress. My dear brothers and sisters, these are riches and happiness in the earthly life. And what is superior to that is the riches of the hereafter. As the true riches or the true poor, if you will, materialize after being judged by the Almighty Allah. Whoever was satisfied and happy with what Allah ordained for him on earth turn into the richest person in the hereafter as his rewards are multiples and multiplied more than the reward of the one who is patient and endure. And we, always, we all know what the reward of the one who is patient and endure. To explain this meaning, it was narrated by Ibn Awana on the authority of Ahmad ibn Abi al-Hawari that he said that Abu Sulaiman asked him, O oh Ahmad, if there is anything more rewarding than being patient? He said, yes, there is. Being satisfied and content with Allah and what he ordained for you and what he predestined for you. Then he continued saying, he said, the one who asked a question, how come? He answered, if Allah the Almighty will compensate those who are patient without measure, what would you think he would do with the one who accepts and satisfied with him and what he ordained? and what he predestined. Brothers and sisters, live your life in peace and contentment and bestow on your own soul. That's in your hand. That's your own doing. Bestow on your own soul happiness and satisfaction with acceptance. Be satisfied and content with Allah for what he predestined and fated for you. Allah will bestow acceptance and riches on you in this life and in the hereafter. May Allah increase our bounties and blessings and give us satisfaction and acceptance with all what he ordained and predestined for us with no objection, with no questions. Ameen. 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 Assalamu alaikum, brother and sister. Just a... Uh...